click on start drawing we'll create this object at first we will have to set the limit now here the length is 50 and from this point this length will be roughly around 15 that is total length required by us will be 15 plus 50 that will be 65 and we will have to take the limit value more than the required size therefore we will take it 100 comma 100 give the limits command enter then give the lower left corner 0 comma 0 enter upper right corner 100 comma 100 enter then to apply the limits give zoom all command press z enter a enter then take the line command give the first point to make the line straight make ortho on click here and give the direction and give the length of 50 enter after this line there is this inclined line at 60 degree angle from horizontal line and the length is 30 to make the line inclined click again on this ortho mode make it off give the direction where you want to go give the length 30 then to specify the angle press tab button on the keyboard and give the angle of 60 degree enter then again we need a straight line again press on ortho mode to make the ortho mode on then give the length of 20 then 15 10 give the direction give the length of 20 enter then above take your cursor above give the length of 15 enter then take it on the left side give the length of 10 enter then again take it below it is 15 enter then on this side now this length is not given now these both lines are of 30 length and at 60 degree angle that means total length of this line will be same as this line that is 50 now here the length is 20 plus 10 is 30 that means remaining will be again 20 give the direction give the length of 20 enter then again this point is connected back to this point take your cursor to this end point and click there then press enter to stop the line command then this triangular shape is there now this is a equilateral triangle that means the length of each and every line will be 10 and as this is equilateral triangle that means this angle will be 60 degree again give the line command take the first point make ortho off give the direction give the length of 10 then press tab now angle needs to be given from this horizontal line up to this line now we know that angle from this line to this line is 60 degree that means angle from this line will be 120 degree Therefore, give 120 degree, enter, and again click on this end point and enter. This drawing is ready. And next is this one. Again, here this length is 50, radius is 5, and radius is 5. That means total length will be 50 plus this 10, 60. Again, we will take limit of 100, command it. To start new drawing, click on this button here, new drawing. Again give the limits, enter, 0, 0, enter, 100, 100, enter, then zoom all, z enter, a enter. Take the line command, give the first point, make ortho on, give the direction, give the length of 50, enter. Take your cursor above, again give the length of 50, enter, then connect it back to this start point. You can also click on this close button so it will connect it and it will stop the line command also. To pan it above, press the middle mouse button and drag the mouse. And to shift this XY to the left side, give the UCS icon command, UCS icon, enter, then choose this no region option. Then there are two circles of radius for you. Take the circle command, and give the center point, give the radius of for you, enter. To repeat the last command press enter again give the center point give the radius of 5 enter then there is this line of 20 length 
and angle is 45 degree from this horizontal line but we will have to give angle from this horizontal x axis that means we will have to work out this angle this angle will be 180 minus this 45 degree that is this angle will be 135 degree again take the line command give the first point make ortho of take your cursor away give the length of 20 then press tab for angle give the angle of 135 enter and enter to stop the line command then create the circle of ok they have not given the dimension here we will take it 10 radius give the circle command give the center point give the radius of 10 enter this drawing is also ready then next will be this drawing now here the length is 100 here it is 60 and here it will be 10 and here it is 10 that is 100 plus 60 we will take 160 plus this 20 180 and we have to take the value more than 180 we will take the limit of 200 comma 200 click here for new drawing give the limits enter to lower left corner 0 comma 0 enter upper right corner 200 comma 200 enter then zoom all z enter a enter then at first we will create these lines of 100 length and 60 length now they have given this angle of 135 degree between these two lines but we will need angle from this horizontal x axis here so this angle will be 180 minus 135 that is 45 degree take the line command give the first point then make ortho on give the direction give the length of 100 enter then make ortho off take your cursor above give the length of 60 then press tab for angle give the angle of 45 degree enter enter then create this circle of 5 and 10 radius on both sides take the circle command give the first point give the radius of 5 enter here you will have to give the circle command each time we can also make use of multiple command which repeats command automatically to use the multiple command give the multiple command multiple enter then enter the command name to repeat circle enter give the center point give the radius of 10 enter now circle command is not stopping and it is again asking for the center point give the center point give the radius enter center point radius enter then here these are of 15 and 20 radius circles give the center point give the radius of 15 enter center point 20 enter then to stop the multiple command press escape button on the keyboard it will stop the multiple command then there are these tangent lines are there take the line command then press shift right click and select tangent object snap then click on the circle again shift right click tangent click on the circle enter here also we can use the multiple command to repeat the line command give the multiple enter give the line command to repeat is line enter then again shift right click tangent click on the circle shift right click tangent click on the circle enter if you want a tangent object snap to come automatically then click here and select tangent object snap here then take your cursor now here because of the center object snap it is not showing the tangent object snap so we will make the center object snap off and take your cursor on the circle it is showing the tangent object snap click there and click enter again click and click and enter to stop the line command press escape that's all this object is also ready all the objects are ready thanks for watching we will Stop.